All right, so I'm calling my landlord, who's I wrote a not a hostile or a nasty letter to, but recently wrote a letter letting him know that I was not fond of his what I called an unlawful entry into my apartment the um, last Friday, I think the 29th. He uh, allow gave access to some repair guys to my apartment, and, and they. Uh, woke me up, knocked on my door, and before I could get out of bed, they were already in my apartment, in my living room, and we had this awkward negotiation of whether or not I had to uh, defend myself uh, right there. Uh, I was in a stupor of being awoke and uh, didn't know how to respond, and there was, it was a, a bit awkward, and first of all, it was uh, pretty illegal as I understand it. I, I don't know if I'm, I may be misinformed as to the law, but I, as I understand it, I'm required to have a 24-hour notice unless it's a repair to the place that I've called about, and uh, I had not been in communication with my landlord at all. And uh, so two strangers, two, two men entering my apartment before so quickly after a knock at, I don't know, something like 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning, I, I think, uh, that I couldn't even get to my door before they were already in the living room. Uh, they were there apparently to look at the balcony and to evaluate some repairs that were apparently needed to be done. But as I said, I was not made aware of this. I had not called about this. And so I called the landlord while these guys were taking their time, sort of just diddly daddling and talking jargon. They were very polite and whatnot. But I didn't want them there because I wanted to sleep. I didn't know that they were going to be there or else I'd have made plans to my sleep schedule to allow them in. And I'd even have made them coffee and been a pretty pleasant host. But strange enough, I was kind of, so I, was, I was politefully hostile. I told them I didn't really want them there, but I understood they had a job to do. But I didn't want to sit there and watch them sort of do their thing. I didn't understand. So... I'm calling this landlord back because I wrote him a letter, which I could read. So this is the, the letter, Mr. P, I'm abbreviating just for his own privacy, fuck him. The recent entry to my address by your two servicemen on Friday, April 29th, was unlawful. Had I not been home and at work as your men thought, I'd have no idea that two strangers had illegally entered the apartment I am renting from you. While I understand the difficulties in maintaining properties, and I am grateful to have a landlord making such efforts, I have to. Oh, I am very disappointed at this violation of the law and my trust as a tenant. I am not sorry to be a pedant in this manner and expect you to follow the law in regards to my privacy and the requirement of a 24-hour notice. I take this very seriously, have docu documented the event, and hope we have no further issues. You've been a responsive landlord and are a responsible landlord in all other regards. I wish to continue enjoying the apartment and do appreciate your efforts in maintaining the property. Sincerely, L. Dickhead. So, we're going to call him back and see what his sort of thing is. He's probably going to say that he didn't know it was going to happen, and I find that as repulsive as anything. You've got, you know, we'll see. He's kind of an old-ass man, and uh, we'll see. I don't, do not want to be snarky or hostile or, or anything. Hello, I'm recurring a call. Um, I got a message this morning from Mr. Powell. This is Ryan Broman.
Hello, Mr. Powell. I'm returning your call. This is Ryan Broman. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, we, we're going to be having to do some work on that building. Okay, that's, yeah, that, that's good. I understand. Well, so, so um, we sent you a moving notice. A, mo oh, we're, a moving notice? Yes, sir. What's that mean? Well, uh, 60 days notice. But it didn't tell uh, uh, two months and a half. So two months and a half I'm going to have to move? Yes, sir. Okay, is the whole building going to have to move? Is that what you're saying? No, sir. Just you, me. You, you Okay. Well, this is kind of a surprise. Well, people give me moving, moving notices all, all the time, you know. But once in a while, I have to, you know, get into an apartment. All right. Is this does this have to do with my recent letter to you, where I was a little upset about your guys coming into my apartment? Is this a, a backlash? No, I don't mind coming in 10 or 15 times if I know about it. Do you understand well, that? No. Okay, well, I just, I just think everybody would be happier if you find a place that you like somewhere. Well, I like this place just fine. I just want to know when people are coming in. I think you're just being a little upset with me for getting getting upset with you, and I think you're overreacting here. Now, I'm 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 okay if if I know there's going to be maintenance on the building, and I know there's going to be in and out traffic of maintenance guys. If I'm prepared for that, if I know that that's going to be happening, I don't have an issue with it. The guys coming in the other day, I had no knowledge that they were going to be there, so that's why I was upset. If there's going to be some repairs that are ongoing, I've lived through that sort of thing. And just out of the simple uh, ease of living in one place and, and not having to find another place, I'd rather just stay. And I, and I feel like at this point you're punishing me by sticking up for myself, and I, and I, I, don't, I don't think you're being very reasonable here. And now, now that I've, I've written you a letter saying that I would like 24 hours notice, you're rather just having me. You, you're 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 passively kicking me out here, just I'm because. Not you, yeah, but see, this is this is something oh, that no. if if you're telling me that I there's going to be some. Into this with tenants. You always run into this problem with tenants. Yeah, you know when I have to ask somebody to move, it's always a big deal. Oh, it is a big deal. People tell me they can move all the time. I mean, you know. Well, I haven't done that, have I? And I, you know, and I, and I gave you a notice that I was planning on continuing my rent here. I've already given well, you a written notice. Your year is up. I would, if, you, if your year wasn't up, I would honor the lease. And I've, I've honored the lease. So I'm giving you 60 days notice. And if I finish this place, and you need another place, you're welcome to come back. <laughs> Well, I understand that. Now, if like like I said, if you if you let me know that during a certain week these guys are going to be in and out of my apartment throughout all the day. All right. Well, how about a, a reduced rate? And I can and, and and it's fine with me, guys coming in and out. Just so I don't have to have twenty four hours notice if it's a week thing where I just know every day they're going to be coming. If you know, like, if you tell me for the next two months these guys are going to be in and out of the place. Now I, I can live with that if I understand that that's going to be the case. Yeah, it, it's going to be dusty and, and always, it's just not going to work. And, and you know, I'm sorry, but you know, all right, so so which is it? Because before you told me that it was because you couldn't part, you couldn't give me twenty four hours notice. It'd be too much of a headache and too much red tape for you. Now you're telling me it's gonna be too dusty. Well, 
So why why is my apartment specifically? So I'm getting singled out just because I happen to be in the right spot. And no no other no other no other tenants are going to be asked to leave. And I'm the only one that's been asked to leave. Are you singling out because I got hostile with you in the letter? I can't help but get the feeling this is a vindictive action on your behalf here. I can't help but think that this is a, a backlash. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. All right, well, I'll, I'll look for that letter. Give me, a, give me a written notice. I'll get my ass out of here. I'm sorry that it had to end like this. Like I said, I've had no trouble with you, and you've had no trouble with me. I feel like you. I feel like I'm getting punished here for no reason. Do you have any other uh, other buildings that I can transfer to? I, you, you've thrown a pretty big wrench in my my life here. I don't think you realize it's quite a bit different when a landlord gives a two month notice, and quite a bit different when the, when a tenant does. And I know you want to that it happens to you all the time. Happens to you often that somebody just up and moves and gives you notice and this that and the other thing, but. It's a little, little bit of a, a, a harder curveball to deal with when it comes to the tenant finding a new place to live when they were making no plans on looking anywhere else at the moment. It's a big yes, deal. Well, okay, now I can ask any questions. I do not know you can live here. Okay. Okay. Um, See, part of my part of my reason for really wanting to stick here in this particular location is it's two blocks away from my place of employment, and it's uh, something I've definitely uh, taken advantage of and become used to. Number one, uh, this place that I'm going to tell you about is it's not really the same as Okay. Okay, it's July 1. It's 908 number 4, 908 Wayne Street. Okay, now I'm going to write this down and then I'm going to do a little research. 908 uh, Wayne uh, Street. What are you paying now? Paying 775. Okay, well that's what's 725. Okay, is it is it included, all the stuff included that are, is included here? Okay. Uh, but it does have washer and dryer in the basement. Well, that's a pretty good trade off. No, it's and, not. And nine, 908 what? But I'm going to go one step further now. Okay. When we finish your job on your building, you're welcome to move back into your old house. Well, that's a little bit of Well, that sounds like a pretty reasonable deal. I mean, so, you know, I'm not, you know, I mean. But in, in the meet, so two months from now, what's with it? What is it? May, June? All right, so you said in July is when this 908 place. Yeah, oh. let's, just, let's just say, you know, from convenience sake, that we have to go in there and clean it up. Okay. Uh, it's probably going to be about three months before it's finished. Okay, so long as I'm able to transition from here to there, since it's the same landlord, I imagine you'd be able to work that out. But I, I do want to look at the place and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so, let's see. When we finish your work on the building, you know, like I said, you, you clean that place up and then you work for a little bit in it. Alright, and so what's the address again? 908 what? I, I... Well, the, 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 you, you probably don't know where Wayne Street is, like Bruce Wayne. Wayne is in W A Y N E? Okay. Okay. Oh. It is two blocks west of Shepherd Street. Okay, so it's a little close to Broad, huh? All right. I don't know which way you work is. I work at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, so. Oh well, it'll be a little bit further away. Yeah, yeah it's all right. It's, I can still walk. Uh, well, I, I definitely want to look into it. Um, yeah, this, like I said, this is a little bit of a curveball. I'm kind of stressed out that now I've got to go apartment hunting again because that's one of my least favorite things to do. Uh, <laughs> oh, and the, 
in the 908 place? Is that why it's so much cheaper? Oh man, this is sounding worse and worse. Can't live in Richmond without a porch, man. Well, I mean, that porch, I'm almost going to have to nail a board across your door to keep people on our own. Yeah, that. It's become dangerous. Yeah. And I have to tell them, good column down. Mm hmm. Well, have you talked to any of the tenants about, you know, any of them possibly wanting to get out to where the, you could use either the downstairs one or the upstairs one if the, the tenants there are more inclined to leave than I am? Because I'm, I'm definitely one of those that likes to stay in one spot as long as possible, and the, the other folks may be wanting to get out. So if, if you could inquire as to whether or not their apartment could be used for your construction workers. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. into my options and I'll try to try to keep in touch with you about what I'm going to do and you keep in touch with me about what you're going to do and when, you know. Well, I, I, I have to know whether you found a place or not and to tell you the truth, if you want to look at that place, I ought to show it to you. Mm -hmm. Because I think if you don't want it, then I'll, I'll be able to try to ask somebody else. Yeah, I'm willing to look at it, but it doesn't sound like something I want, um, but I, I'm willing to look at it. It is reduced rent. I could use that, but, you know, not having a balcony, not having... Hmm? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, it's something I'm willing to consider. It's just I got a lot of thinking to do, so I'll, yeah. I'll let you know as soon as I can. Yeah, let me know. All right. You take it easy, Mr. Powell. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm pretty partial to a porch, and I'm all right with paying a little more for it. All right. Well. All right, take it easy, Mr. Powell. Thank you. Bye. Motherfucker. Yeah, that went terrible.